everybody. Welcome back to Flotsam, uh, Kelly Street. Bored for a couple of days. I kept losing the voice. That happened. I was coughing, and then after I finished coughing, voice. It was weird to say the least. But um, anyway, so seems like people are enjoying Flotsam, whether it's because it had new updates or because the company doing its best time of trouble to keep updated for us. I'm not sure, but I'm enjoying the update. Uh, I was playing the other day, trying out the new stuff, making sure that my uh, expected work, uh, which I'm really appreciate. Unless there's game-breaking updates, the, the pajama llama crew is pretty good at making sure that their new stuff is simply incorporated in the game. Um, uh, groundbreaking things being when they updated the boat, uh, when they added the seagull nests, and a couple other little things like that. But I'm, I'm gonna pause so we, we don't starve our. Um, but yeah, so let, let's get reacquainted with what we were doing here. Are we on? Uh, oh, so apparently we have stopped to gather resources uh, that look it. Just cleaned out this fuel amount. I have a seagull nest. Really like the new updates to the seagull. How oh, they're they really, really do. They are <clears throat> a much more beneficial part of your city now. Used to be. They would back up things because they would help load the dryer and help load the storage unit and unload the boats and help bring stuff to them from the sheds and the distilleries and all that stuff. Now they have their own home. <laughs> uh, I need to build that building, which I. Oh, wood and rope. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, they have their own building now. You used to have to build them a house, drifters. Uh, my only suggestion, don't get seagulls. Don't rescue them until you build a seagull nest. Because they're grumpy, and I don't like listening to them cry. If they're not fed, and they don't have a place to rest, they cry, and it's so hard. Um, they also won't be useful without the seagull nest, because the, while they'll collect and harvest for you with a seagull nest, without one, they cannot, because their product goes directly into the base of the seagull nest. So it's, it's worth keeping in mind. On in an area where there's four or five seagulls, if you need to, rush yourself to get the research done first. Uh, because without that, they are they're useless. Rescue them, and they'll hang around your boat. They won't do anything, and they'll try to eat your food. And when they get angry or upset or finally tired of waiting, they're gone. And you've lost those. Um, and you only get one per location. So, careful. You don't want to lose too many of them. Okay, so it looks like we need wood. <clears throat> this is going to give us 35. Do we have a boat? We have a boat collecting wood. So. There are. <clears throat> oh, there's one. One guy to water. And one guy out on a boat, because dogs, one boat. One guy out on a boat. Then we're missing. Hmm. Tammy, you are going to tan. Oh, you're. Allie, are you calling? There you are. Okay. Or you must 
visible. And then Seymour hey. is making water. Salinated water. Fast. We might move him. Hmm. Um, Ali is slow. So might, yeah, we might want to switch those. Um, the really it wouldn't matter, but we're kind of out of uh, out of wood at the moment, <laughs> so uh, can't really make any. I could. Of them, I don't order guy. And we have that at firewood, firewood, fish, raw fish. We're putting cooked food, uh, putting rope and stuff here. Plastic, 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 plastic. Okay. Where for wet wood? Ah, it's not. Um, so for temporary. Wet. Because that's why he's not harvesting that, by the way. I uh, apparently don't have anywhere for them to put wet wood. Chew. Without that, they won't harvest it. Once they get this built, then he'll go so we can get some dry. Um, I think I want to try and get all of that wood before we move. Um, ooh. Two buoys in the same place? That doesn't seem... Oh. Oh, 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 that's way back there. Okay, okay. Back here, the other one. Okay, so let's put wood on. I might want to make a wooden rope for that. Just build another one. There we go. All right, so that'll give us 40 wet storage. That we've got one, two, thirty-six floating. Uh, we'll have forty here, so it'll be seventy wood and five, one, seventy-nine. So yeah, we'll be able to get all that in the process. Oh, it's drying. It would be good. To fill this up here because this will hold forty-five and dry wood. And this will only hold 36. So this off, put it in here, and but we'll be good. We have plenty. We have plenty. Um, what I might do that mark for now. But it does that to me. <laughs> but there we go. Okay. Oh yes. I they were giving us the ability to change our UI. Smaller. Oh my. Um, now, here's the reason I wanted to be able to change this. I'm not sure. Why that? Now here's have this notification log and it's really small. Um supposedly I'm really make this bigger. Oh that does make that bigger. It does, but the problem is <laughs> it makes every really not make it only the text part is that's what I was hoping. Hoping they would so we could text that. But fine. Okay. Um I, I haven't sped up yet because I want him to finish this before. 
close up. It's nice that they gave us a log now instead of constant things up the side of the screen. Okay, so, but wood there. Got a... This up and see. He is just... Oh, oh. Uh, let's... There we go. Keep forgetting you have to tell them they can do it. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, sometimes. I forget. We have steam food. Not gonna last. 20 water. Again, not gonna last a terrible time. However, once we start to get some food in, the water will take care of itself. Food, on the other hand, not so much. I do want to that off. Want some rope for five out of two. Because uh, each of these, if we go in here to the build menu, those large storage yards takes two rope. Not to count the wood that it takes, but it takes two rope. And I have one. So by making five more, three more of these larger storages. And I have a reason I want to do because I want to start cutting some for processing. In order to do that, I want to have storage for it so I don't have to put everything in cart. Right now it has our food, our books, our metal, and our fuel. Water, obviously. But water has the power here. That holds 40. Hold 40 water. So we're just under half, which not good, not bad, it just it. Okay, now why are you putting wet wood here? Oh, that's marked for wood. So my swimmer is putting it back. So it's him. Um, and the boat put it up here. Quicker for him. Because the boat dock. Um, now that'll only 20. So, filling up the racks with it and stuff like that. And now this guy's got the swimming. Because... Boat's full. Okay. And he's just weird that way, Sammy. What can I say? He's almost done cleaning that up, though. Have five left. But then we can get to this one. <coughs> uh, now they'll empty the boat because there's nothing here. Up. And the one guy, I'm off. things around. Fine. He'll empty his boat. But we really need to. Or I would move on. We're gonna have to. But we really need to. So, getting. Really hope not boring anyone. Hope I'm explaining the game to the point where you can enjoy it without feeling like you've already played it yourself um, and trying to be helpful. I will tell you that you can't control who you pick up. You can't control their traits or what they eat or their anything. Um, the only thing you can do is build them a house, follow them around, tell them what they can and can't do for uh, I know some games, uh, Two Point Hospital, um, sort of oxygen not included. You can choose the traits of your people that you take in. This one, you don't have much choice. When you rescue someone from one of the little islands, uh, uh, there are islands. Um, find one, I'll try and show it to you. I will have to see if we can find one. We really could use um, But anyway, when you rescue someone from an island, you can't see what their traits are. You can't click on them in any way, shape, or form until they're part of your group. Your floating city. Um, and at that point, they're there. You know? Um, it's really hard to... Uh, I say it's really hard to kill them off, but I've heard people that kill off their their uh, 
for drifters really frequently. Um, I'm not sure how they do it. I, even when I run out of food, I, I don't kill people. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, I don't understand. Um, so we're making, look, we're making firewood now, so we're, we're better. And why are you not going to get the wood? Priority is, oh, no. That's, I don't know why you weren't prioritized. Hmm. Anyway, there you are. I think I might have just forgotten to click the box. Or I right clicked it and took off the urgency. Or, uh, like I said, the, the last recording was almost a week ago. And since then, I've lost my voice. And I've not. It's been an awful week, but not been a very good week. It's been a, a week. Yes. <laughs> it's just been a week. Um, so yeah, we've had some really bad storms here. And uh, uh, my grandkids are spending the summer. And they have a trampoline. And the trampoline you know, has the safety netting and the whole thing around it. Except now it doesn't. Uh, during the storm this past week, uh, I have I had it under a pecan tree so that it would get some shade so they wouldn't be out playing in the sun and getting sunburnt and overheat and all that stuff and lightning struck my pecan tree knocked the top third of my tree down and it fell on the net for their trampoline so it took two days to get all the wood off <laughs> and the net's a little ripped shredded but for the most part, I'd say 80% of it is still good, 85 maybe, um, minus the uh, broken top bar and the shredded two panels. So I'm a little sad, but they still enjoy it. Uh, they, they like playing in the water uh, because we're in summer here, uh, the southern part of the U.S. And... Uh, <laughs> They'll go out with the water hose, get on the trampoline, and they'll spray each other down and the and the trampoline, and then they'll jump. And there's puddles of water where it hasn't all the way dripped through the mesh of the trampoline uh, surface, and it'll just splash up, and I don't know, they enjoy it. Whatever. <laughs> My dog, he doesn't enjoy it, so he kind of runs away when they turn the water on. <clears throat> they know not to spray him, but that doesn't make him feel any better. Okay, you, Sammy, go. Sammy, put it in there. Where are you going, Sammy? Oh, you're putting it there. Why? Just get, go. I need to move, Sammy. Hurry up. Okay, how much wood do you have left? 19. Okay, that's not too bad. Two more trips. Okay. We'll have some wood. Not much wood, but we'll have some wood. Um, and I might let him fill up our little bit of plastic that'll until I can build a uh, search station what do I build or repair do I good I can build it right there this will now be books go there books will no longer go there there we go right now Get this bill. Um, Sammy. Sammy, no constraints. Go do your thing. Into your boat. Go do your thing. Three at a time, eh, Sammy? Okay, now go. There we go. That should be the last one for that. And then I will have him get this. I know that we'll get it all, but once at least to fill these up. Fill these. I'll be okay. No fish around here to get. Nap. Saw some jump. But here, map. Not seeing any jumping in our lit circle. Our lit circle is our area of of influence where our boats will go um, this too far outside see how it's red they won't go here 
Um, same with the water tower. I might head over to the water tower though to collect that. Really want this cell. So we might do it with the water. Go get some metal. Like land right here in the middle. <clears throat> and then my boat will get the viaduct. And then the seagull after the, the nest is built. So like I said, I don't want them uh, if I don't have a way for them to survive. Uh, oh, we have some wood now. So we do. I want to extend this out. But, okay, so we want to extend this out. <clears throat> Here's the thing. You see all these hammers? These hammers are our build limit. We can't build outside of these hammers. But, for some things, we have to build, we can't build right on the edge either. So we need to build in here so that we can access stuff. So what I'm going to do is spin this out. No, I'm going to get go four. Four. Gosh. Four. Four's here. Go half of me. Okay. So I kind of, I just used four planks uh, to make this little tiny walkway because I don't want to come way out here. I pull this back up. I don't want to come way out here and then take the chance that whatever I build along this edge can't be accessed or can't be built. So if I stop it back here, I'm pretty um, guaranteed that anything I build in this area will be able to be accessed. So like if I were to go here, give me the boat, I could build a dock right there, build a dock right there, and it would be accessible. Whereas if I had put it out here, it wouldn't have been. So that's something to keep in mind. They give us a circle. <laughs> they give us a circle to build. Let's show you. Um, can't tilt, so all I can do is kind of spin. You can see the hammers for the build zone. It's not enormous, but it's not tiny. If you're smart, how you build and don't build big gaps and things you've got more than enough room to do anything depending on how many drifters you decide to get if you decide to scrunch as many people as you can in this place you're gonna run out of room um but again oh look our research lab is done check it okay now we can just shortcut and go research right here here's what i want to search a birdhouse we need 10 wood, 2 rope, and 10 metal. I have 3 metal. We need metal. Um, so we're going to have to do that. What is our last? Probably one more trip. Um, really need to make some fuel. Do that. Do we have a fuel limit set? Oh, we don't. Oh, they colored this. I love it. Uh, we want to set this limit to... Um, okay, it doesn't. Okay, I want to set this limit to 20. That's only going to give us 10 food, but I don't want to waste this. We're going to make 10. Uh, and this is 40 because that's all we can hold. Let's see, this is infinite. So I'm going to set that for infinite. For this dry wood. As long as I have storage for it, make it. Uh, um, hello, I can't, I can't move anymore, um, hello, 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 oh boy, I don't know what's going on, I have my arrow, open my map, okay, it spins here, the map moves. <clears throat> I can move around. Okay, that's fine. Now if I zoom in. Okay, maybe I just needed... Okay, I just need to go to the map. I, that's the weirdest thing. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we, we have this. What we're going to do... We're going to set birdhouse. We can't unlock it, sadly. <laughs> we need eight books. We have two. So we will have to find some more books. Uh, what we are going to do... 
Hmm. Need food. Uh, build. Have the resource. We do. Build a chop shop. Right here. Okay, now. Chop shop can provide two food sources. It makes fish food for the birds, and it makes seaweed salad for the drifter. We don't have any seaweeds. We need that too. But having fish food for the the seagulls is going to be important. Um, for drying racks, woodworking. We don't need any of that right now. But there's my storage. Okay, so what we want to do is build a storage unit here. And I'm out of rope. I'm at, oh, that took rope. Okay. I want to make some rope. There we go. Some more rope. So now what we're going to do. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to go to the map. Actually, wait. The buoy marker. Take up the buoy marker. Alright, so now there's plenty of things for everybody to be while we. Um, I'm thinking we need water first. Pop us off. Oh, there's a, a villager's. We're gonna go here. There, we could. Reef. What if we. We'll do this in pieces. Go here. And we'll get some fish. And then we'll go there and get some water. Go there and get some fish. And. Oh, we can go to a viaduct right there. Cool. Okay. So. Fish. Get the fish. Fish. Fish, fish, fish. Um. Sammy. Fish. Fish, Sammy. And away he goes. Um. That one. That one. Have. Need. <clears throat> he is hard at work. Up in the wood. So, Sammy is our our builder, sadly, for now, but he's getting fish first, because we need it. See, there's food. Ten of it. And he'll go get the last five, and then hopefully he'll start building. I definitely want to get that other, that other, uh, drifter. Okay, so he's done. So what I'm going to do is slow this down a little bit. Then we're going to go... Need the water first. Go here, just to get the water. Chugga chugga hoo hoo! Um, I don't know if you can hear it. I might have my sounds down too low, but they added tugboat sounds. Great. See this little yellow arrow here? This is, if you're like way off on the map, you can click it and it'll center you on your town. Uh, so we are going to boat collect and we'll get 30 water from this. Now here's, here's the problem. Our little guy here will only hold 40. <laughs> We have 20, so what we're going to do is turn this guy off. We don't need that right now. Because we're going to have 30 water that we can't do anything. Uh, we'll have 20-ish that we can't do stuff with. But if we come here and we look at water, we see that we could get a small water container which will hold 10 water if we have three books. We have two books. We could get one that holds 30. We had six. But here's the thing. See how these need metal pipes? We can't make metal pipes yet. We would have to learn a scrapsmith to make metal pipes. And we don't have it researched. We don't have this. We don't have any. What we're going to do. Oh, here, what are we? Uh, we could just make another boat. Probably what I'll do. Uh, what they'll do. No, uh, what I'm going to do is make a fish. Four long platform. There. Then we will put a fishing boat. There. Alright. And he was able to put all that in there. 32 water. They'll have 20 to collect. Eight can go in here. So we're going to. Well, unless someone's thirsty and drink too. <clears throat> Alright. 
and there's that. Oh, this one is going to be none of the above. Uh, what I am going to uh, bird house. Oh, we don't. We don't have enough book. Darn. Okay. So. That's. There we go. Bridge. There. Oh boy. Hey, little fella. It only quite does that. I've, I'm recording now, and when I first started playing, and I joined the uh, the Discord channel for Pajama Llama, bought some. I um I didn't have um I I wasn't recording at the time, and so that little jerk you saw when I was spinning I, like that, I get it a lot, and I don't know what caused it. And when I first started playing the game wasn't recording so I wasn't able to show the pajama llama crew what was going on and I wasn't the best at explaining it um, but now now that I'm recording I can say you know look at this at this time can you give me an idea of what's going on why it's doing it is it something in my settings is it my recording software it could be my recording software I did it before I recorded and it does it on my solo games when I'm not recording. Um, so when they release patches, I, I like to play through for a couple hours. I will sit and play this game for for hours, for hours, um, working through things. Now I've got it a little bit sped up now, but earlier I had it on super fast forward. I don't play myself on super fast forward much. Um, I do when they're doing things like collecting resources but even now with the seagulls doing that I don't fast forward as much as I used because uh, I like to be able to uh, monitor what they're doing where they're going uh, what's in their inventories stuff like that and when I'm on super fast forward again um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all the food going to the heart and we are going to take fish off of here and put all the food, not the fish food. Put all the food going to there. This I have a purpose for. I just can't select it yet. This is going to be seaweed pods. Or spores as they call it. We are going to start making. that yet? Need. Okay. Um, I also need wood so I can make another. Have we collecting water? What we're gonna do is move. Uh, we are going to go. Oh, and we. Yes, yes, please. Go here. Go in the. I want to get as many. Looks like it. Two, three. I can. A bit. Eagle. Let's go here. Okay, move our town. Chugga chugga. Chugga chugga. Forgot about that fish. <clears throat> okay, so. Uh, first thing. I think I'm going to get the two drifter. So I have extra. Okay, so. Here's drifter number one. Have Dipper von Schropp. Oh, we can't see him. He's fast. He's going to be rescued. Uh, so we're going to rescue him. Now one of our guys will leave. As soon as the quarter is up. We can't build a boat. That's the Oh, there it is. Ta-da! Ori Walvis. Eats less. Nice. Rescue her too. Okay. Uh, boat. Okay. So. Can't put water <coughs> in any storage. 
can only go in a tank. Which is sad, because it's in a bottle right there. But whatever. Whatever. Uh, it shows we have 46. Can't do it. What I will do, have a swimmer. Get this. What? Because uh, we're not making any water right now. Got a second person. That will give us some wood for building. Waiting. But, oh, I need uh, fish. Ah. There was a. One plus three. Far away. Good to sit there. No, oh, they have to have a getting wood. Oh, I need metal. Don't have anywhere to put. Them. On wood dry. Wood dry. Can't rescue people with a fish boat, but you can only put one person in it. And we're down to 43 water, so they all drink next time. This boat will be available for salvage. Um, and apparently we're getting some wood and getting some fish, so it's not a completely lost cause. We've just finished a fishing marker. If we look at our logs, see that we've got a fishing marker, a storage yard, the water tower is fully salvaged. So it, it goes. This was the beginning of our of our recording, and this is where we are now. So what I'm gonna do is pause here, um, and let them finish what they're doing. We'll come back in the next episode and see if we can't rescue some more drifters. Have a great day. Uh, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Tell your friends. Bye.